This recording is going to be about using the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. This is a relatively simple example. Let's take a look at it. Um, in this example, we have a number of students who have three test scores, and we are going to average those test scores. And then we're going to look up their grades based on their test scores. And the grades follow a very simple grading schedule um, of 0 is F, 60 to 69 is a D, 70 to 79 is a C, 80 to 89 is a B, and 90 or above would be an A. Um, for starters, the average, use the average function to average the three test scores and then rounded that off to zero decimal places so we got a whole number for the average. Let's go ahead and insert the VLOOKUP function right here. I will uh, go ahead and use the um, F of X button right here to insert a function. And we're going to look up, we're going to use the search function to use to search for the lookup function. There's a number of lookup functions, but let's just type in lookup, hit enter, and you'll notice that we get lookup. Um, let me move that down and so we can see it. We get the lookup, we get the if and the match and so on. The V lookup is the one we want to use. This V stands for vertical lookup. So let's click OK. The vertical lookup function, it basically it's pretty easy to use. It says it looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table. So here's our grade table, and we have two columns in this grade table. The scores are the leftmost column. Returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. So we're going to specify this second column here for the return value. They allow you to have many columns in a lookup table like this, but we're just going to have two columns. The first column leftmost is where we're going to look for a match, and then the second column is where we're going to return the value. Notice it says the table must be sorted in ascending order. That means that these numbers that we're looking up, they have to be sorted smaller to larger. The lookup value is the value we want to actually look up in the table, and in this case the lookup value is going to be the average. So I'm just going to click on this cell E2 here for the average, and that's the value we're going to look up. The next value they want here is the table array. Basically they say that's the table of text and numbers or whatever in which the data is going to be found. So we essentially want to search for that average score in our grade table here. So I'm just going to select the entire grade table. And it puts it in there. And notice I did select the title of the table too. That's okay to do that. And it then says it's going to look in I1 through J6. Well, remember our rule of thumb of using absolute and relative references. Anytime we enter a a reference in a formula, we want to consider, are we going to copy any, that formula? Are we going to fill that formula down? Well, in this case, we are going to fill the formula down because we have many students. So the first formula, we wanted to keep that a relative reference so it always referred to the proper student in each row. But the table is always going to be pointing exactly in the same place on our sheet, so we want that to be an absolute reference. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F4. And when I hit F4, you'll notice in the formula that it put the dollar signs in the formula um, appropriately to make that an absolute reference. The next input we need to give the VLOOKUP is the column number in the table. And they tell you very clearly here that the first column of values in the table is column 1. So our first column of numbers is column 1. And so this second column where the grades are is column 2. So we need to just enter a 2. And finally, this last piece of information is an optional piece of information. We don't need to give it that piece of information, but just for discussion's sake, if you want it to match exactly, 
you could put a false. You just put false right in there. We don't want it to match exactly because notice we just have ranges of numbers in our table here. So for instance, 86 does not match anything in our table here. We want it to match a close guess, if you will. So that's where we want to just leave that value true. And if you leave it empty, it defaults to true. That will be the value in there. You can always put true in there if you wanted to, but we'll just leave it empty. So notice it's telling us in this particular case, it's saying with the 86, we should get back a B, and that looks good. So let's go ahead and click OK. And we get a B in our formula. And we can review the formula again. Basically, the, the VLOOKUP says look up the value in E2, which is the student's grade, the average grade. Look it up in the table. There's the table. And then look in column two of the table. So let's fill that down using the fill handle. And remember the little trick. Instead of just dragging it down, you can double click the fill handle. And let's check those grade scores. So we got a 95, and that's an A. We got a 90, and that's an A. We got a 74, um, and that's a C. And then we got our 88, which is a B. Well, that all made sense. Let's change one of these test scores, see if we can get that down to an 89. So I'll change this to a 90. And it changed that to an 89 and changed it to a B. So that was appropriate. Let's change it to 91. And it changed it to a 90 and changed it to an A. So you can see how that's working. I'll go ahead and change this one. Let's put a 100 in there for that student's test 3. And that changed to a 92. The student gets an A, of course. Um, so we'd have to shift this down. No. To right there. So this is the idea behind the VLOOKUP. And it can be used to save ourselves from having to use complicated if statements. And I would suggest that uh, you might want to uh, think about what that alternate if statement would be to calculate the grade. It's pretty ugly. So the VLOOKUP is, a, is an excellent tool and it's a very useful tool.